since we're on the topic of May Day, um, here's an article. This is an opinion piece. And I guess Richard Wolf himself wrote this. Yes, there is an alternative to capitalism. Mondragon shows the way. Richard Wolf writes this. Oh, let me give this a get your news on with Ron. We retweet. All right. Why are we told a broken system that creates vast inequality is the only choice? Spain's amazing co-op is living proof otherwise. There is no alternative to capitalism. Really? We are to believe with Margaret Thatcher that an economic system with endlessly repeated cycles, costly bailouts for financiers, and now austerity for most people is the best human beings can do? Capitalism's recurring tendencies toward extreme and deepening inequalities of income, wealth, and political and cultural power require resignation and acceptance because there is no alternative. I understand why such a system's leaders like us uh, want to believe that, but why would others? The leaders want to believe that because it's benefiting them, but why do other people want to believe that's the best we can do? Alternatives exist. Every society chooses, consciously or not, among alternative ways to organize production and distribution of goods and services that make individual and social life possible. So he talks about Mon Mondragon. It's comprised mainly of cooperative enterprises grouped into four areas, industry, finance, retail, and knowledge. In each enterprise, the co-op members, averaging 80 to 85% of all workers per enterprise, collectively own and direct the enterprise. Through an annual general assembly, the workers choose and employ a managing director and retain the power to make all the basic decisions of the enterprise what, how, and where to produce, and what to do with the profits. As each enterprise is a constituent of the MC as a whole, its members must confer and decide with all other enterprise members what general rules will govern MC and all its constitute, constituent enterprises. Given that there's a lot of members, its pay equity rules can, uh, can and do contribute to a larger society with far greater income and wealth equality than is typical in societies that have chosen capitalist organizations of enterprises. It displays a commitment to job security, something you don't see in capitalist enterprises. It sources their inputs from the best and least costly producers. So it stays at the cutting edge of new technology because again, just because you're a worker co-op doesn't mean you're not committed to quality. You're still committed to quality. These people, people try to make the false, um, they make the false equivalency that capitalism leads to the highest quality because everyone's competing. That's not necessarily true. You can still have enterprise and markets without capitalism. Those two things aren't one and the same. And uh, I like to use the Henry Rollins metaphor uh, for humorous effects. Um, where it's like, okay, well, I'm okay with, uh, I'm okay with enterprise. I'm not against enterprise. I'm not saying one entity needs to oversee all enterprise. And as you can look at this Mondragon example, that's not always the case. That's not the case. It's not one entity overseeing all enterprise. It's the workers overseeing the enterprise. That's what's happening. You can still have that without capitalism. You can have all the quote unquote benefits that are falsely attributed to capitalism that aren't really because of capitalism. You can still have all that without capitalism. Um, so because these are worker owned enterprises, because the enterprises still have their own markets, people want to make quality, but they make those decisions together. So they're not going to have uh, quality at the expense of their health. And you know who else isn't going to do that? Other people in the industry. You know why? Because they're all in the same, they're all worker, um, they're all worker co-ops as well. 
And Mondragon is a cool name. And I know, oh, Mondragon. Yeah, Mondragon. Mondragon. So thank you for sharing that, Dana. And Richard Wolf really breaks down where worker co-ops are working, not just in Spain, but around the world. Uh, he has a wonderful presentation on Italy. Um, and I had the I had the privilege of meeting him re recently, Richard Wolf. I got to meet him. He was uh, he came to the Jimmy Dore Show studios, and those um, those uh, was I there to meet Richard Wolf? I did not meet him at the event. Stephen, which might be what you're referring to, but I did meet him when he came to the Jimmy Dore Show studio, uh, and uh, I don't believe we published those interviews yet, but uh, there is an absolutely wonderful interview between Jimmy and Richard Wolf where he really breaks this down. Um, is Michelle Wolf related to Richard Wolf? I don't think so, but maybe. <laughs> they spell it differently, so I don't think so. But man, wouldn't that be something if they were? Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.